<laughs> What's up? Tyler. Plugged on. I'm here with an album review. This is going to be talking about the new album from Breaking Benjamin entitled Ember. Pop! Uh, this is their sixth album. Breaking Benjamin is a rock band from the United States of America. And I have a long history with Breaking Benjamin personally. Um, it, I listen to a lot of their early albums like Phobia, We're Not Alone. And uh, I've always enjoyed Breaking Benjamin. Like those early albums have have a place in my musical history for sure. And you know, my family as as a whole listens to a lot of Breaking Benjamin. So they're just a little bit a part of me. They, I don't truly believe in guilty pleasures because I just believe you like what you like and you should support the music that you support um but if i have a guilty pleasure i guess you could say breaking benjamin's one of them um do i jam them constantly no but they're just one of those bands that you get into really young at least for me you get into them you know when you're younger and they kind of have that you have that hot soft spot for them they returned a few years ago with the record dark before dawn um after they went on hiatus, and now they're back with a whole bunch of new jams in Ember. How is Ember? The best way I can describe this album is that it's, it's going to sound dumb. It's a Breaking Benjamin album. Like, you truly know what you're getting. You truly know what it's going to sound like. And they, trust me, they don't deviate from that path. They really don't do anything new on this album. If you don't like Breaking Benjamin, go away. Like... This album's not going to turn you. Um, they have a certain style to them. They always have. They have always had a certain style of guitar riffs, a certain sound to their chorus, a certain tone that they've always had. And at times, I fucking really like that. Like, I legitimately enjoy Phobia in its entirety. I think that album's amazing uh, for for a modern radio rock record it is fucking awesome to me um even like there's some good jams on dear agony like i said we are not alone in their debut there's some good jams there i enjoyed some songs off their last time i just didn't enjoy it as a whole um but i don't think this album is bad don't take what i'm saying the wrong way it's not a bad album it's just a breaking regimen album and that like to me at least with their last two albums, they, you know, it just doesn't hit this massive high. There's a few songs off their last one that I legitimately fucking enjoyed. I mean, it's the biggest song off the album, but Failure is just, it's a cool song. Um, on here, I feel like there's a bunch of songs that I like, but they don't just, they don't get me super pumped. I'll say that. Like, I don't mind the track Feed the Wolf, the opening track to this. Right after the intro. Um, I, I think that's a good, a solid Breaking Benjamin jam. Because it starts off and then you have this just really slow, like, weird-ass fucking Breaking Benjamin riff. Uh, very traditional for them. And then you get into a nice chorus and Benjamin Burnley sounds great as always. He's I, I love his voice um, most of the time. And, and he has a unique sound to him and he sounds great. And a lot of these courses, and I'll say a lot of these courses are good. They're like torn in two, the dark of you psycho. There's some really fantastic vocal moments on here where he really showcases that like, yeah, he's a great singer and he always has been. And, and I think there's there's good tracks on here for sure. Uh, most of the time I feel it's the courses that really bring those to life. And But here, here lies my problem is that because of Breaking Benjamin's style, sometimes, you know, those courses really have to pop in almost every track. You know, because of who they are, because they don't do a whole lot of like, they don't break outside of their bubble a whole lot. Sometimes a lot of this shit can really run together and it can really run you down. Now, I'd say by the end of this album with tracks like Blood, Save Yourself, Close Your Eyes, I'm just like, eh. I don't know. They, they, they just don't click with me at all. And, and it's a, because it just it truly does sound a little similar to what you heard 
previously on the album, at least for this one, to me specifically, um, for this album. But like I said, I think the tracks like Feed the Wolf is cool. Psycho is, I think, has a really fucking great chorus, but the guitar, opening guitar, just pisses me off. Um, uh, where's the fucking track? Uh, the Dark of You. Dark of You is probably my favorite song on here. This is one song that I do think that, that they sort of change it up, but they've done this sort of stuff before where they really slow it down. Um, to, but this song vocally is just really, really well done. It, it really fucking is. It, it's one of my favorite tracks. It is my favorite track on here. But there's there's a few songs on here where <laughs> Breaking Benjamin does the Breaking Benjamin thing of like, you have this verse in, in, in the guitars going like, dun, 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 dun. And it's like, mm, mm. like, I don't know. I just feel like they do that so much. Like, you at least have to have one or two tracks on every Breaking Benjamin album that has just a open palm mute fucking guitar riff. Like, I don't know. Like I said, it, it's, it's not a bad album. Will I find myself listening to some of these songs sometimes? Maybe. Because, like I said, there, there's a handful on here that... That I do enjoy. It's just some of the things that they do because they've done them so much and because they don't deviate from the formula too much. Sometimes it can really drive you down a little bit to me personally. It's just my opinion, of course. Um, I know many of you did not agree with my opinion on Dark Before Dawn, and that's fine. My opinion still stands on that. My opinion will still probably stand on this one. But hey, if you like Breaking Benjamin, go go jam this. Because uh, there's some there's some jams on here, for sure. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. See you later.